Hello, my name is Mary Decatur and I work with XRite's application support team. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss with you the DNG file format and how to import images, allowing your application to do the conversion quickly and easy through the software. First of all, I'd like to also tell you that there's three reasons that I myself choose to use DNG within my own workflow. Probably the biggest reason is that these images are going to import at least 20% smaller than if you were importing your RAW files using the RAW format from your, your particular camera. RAW files are going to actually have two files that, are, that will be associated with them. The first file will be the photo itself, and then the second file is called the XMP sidecar file. This is data that is containing things such as your copyright and keywords. With DNG file format, all of this information is packaged into one nice file so that it's much smaller and easier to handle as you're bringing the data in. And yet you don't lose any of the same flexibility that you had using the raw format. Lastly, DNG is an open format software that was created by Adobe. The intent of this format was to allow users moving forward to always have the ability to open their images where some proprietary software may lose some of that flexibility in the future. It also allows users with more than one camera model such as a Canon and a Nikon to store their images in one format rather than having multiple formats on their system. When importing photos into either Lightroom 2 or Lightroom 3, the process is very similar as to what we were doing in the bridge. From within the library module in Lightroom 2, you'll notice there's a large import box at the bottom left-hand corner. You can either click on that field, or you can also go File and Import Photos from Disk or Import Photos from Device. In this case, I'm going to simply click import photos from device as I am currently connected to a Canon XT. The import option is going to import or excuse me is going to open into a standard view. I like to click the show preview box so that I can get a full idea of what I'm importing and where my images are going to. If you'll notice at the top of the screen you're going to see an option called File Handling. The default of this option will be copy photos to a new location and add to catalog. To allow the software to change your file format to DNG for you, you're simply going to click on that option and select copy photos as digital, negative, and add to catalog. What this option is now going to do is allow you to do a normal import of all of your raw format files, but they're automatically going to be changed over to a DNG format within the software. It is not going to be bringing in two specific files, but it will, ch it will change all of your formats to DNG so that those are the only images that you will now see. Your raw images will now actually be converted. You, there's certainly many more features within the import window, but at this time I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel as I've already received all of these images. Lightroom 3 is going to be very similar. When you click on the import field, there's going to be a large box that populates, and within this box, you'll see at the top of the screen, copy to DNG. It's going to be right in the center of your screen. As long as that option is selected, that's the conversion that's going to be taking place. And that's how simple it is to import your images while allowing the software to convert into DNG format for you. Thank you. Have a nice day.